Another day, another project. Here we are, getting clean again. So we're at Home Depot, obviously. I'm walking back to the car because I forgot the wallpaper that we're matching the paint color to. Savannah wouldn't walk with me. Here we go. So we're trying to match a green paint color to this grass in the wallpaper. This is cool. Ooh, I like that one. What color is it? That one is ecological. What is it? Is that right? Ecological? It's like... <laughs> Is that how you say it? It's like a um, ecosystem. Yep. Wait, try it on this one. I think that's good. That's really close, right? Okay, leave that one. Let's try that one. Okay. So, working in this. so we're Ready? looking in the olive and sage um, section. Okay, so when you're looking at paint colors and stuff like that, if you go this direction, you're going to stay like all within the same like color tones. You can kind of see here, it's like all the same tones. It's just like faded light. And if you, see if you move more towards the right, the, the blues become more purple. And if you more, like more cool. And yeah. then if you move towards the left, they lean towards green because green is blue and yellow. So it leans, it goes toward yellow. So when you want, if you're picking multiple colors and you want them to be in the same family, yeah. the same color tone, you want to stay that. like vertically. In the same right? Oh and we're bringing, we brought the wallpaper with us, obviously. I think those are like still too, they feel like kind of bright. Yeah. I like this one the best. I do too. I do like this like a little bit deeper, but it's a lot of green. Okay, so try this on it. So this is gonna go wallpaper paint yeah that'll be so good and so this i think this is the one we settled on this is going to be like a chair rail kind of thing and then these will be vertically going down every probably two feet so it'll be like it's gonna have like the um, top will be a little bit more of like a ledge and then yeah. you have this guy go straight every couple of feet that'll be so cute it. and then this will be the green and then we'll pick on the top all right this is the one we picked Technically a baseboard, but we're gonna flip it upside down and make it the top of the ledge. These are the vertical pieces that we use this primed pine lattice. Inexpensive and going to be perfect for what we need. I was looking at for Savannah and she was over here and she's like going like this. Like, what is she pointing at? She has to go to the bathroom. That's what she was pointing at. <laughs> Mal is putting up the wallpaper in that corner. This is the wallpaper, which we know we showed you a little bit earlier, but it's really great because it's like a peel and stick situation. Mal's having a good old time in that corner. The corners are the worst, they're so hard. When you choose a wallpaper, be mindful of the repeat because some repeats are like impossible and they create a lot of waste so the lower the number is like usually the repeats anywhere from like 18 inches to like 36 inches the lower the number usually the easier it is to install to line up the pattern because you have more options and the less um, waste that you have so this one i also like because the background is the same as the wall color so if i have like a gap at the top or a gap somewhere like in here you'll never see it because it's just the same color as the paint so that's something to be mindful when you're picking out wallpaper and if you don't want to commit to a full wall a good way to save some money is to paint the bottom and then do this just on the top or to do one accent wall like another thing i almost did was just did the wall behind the beds but since the beds are so big and bulky i didn't want to lose the effect and i just think the dinosaurs are just too cute and they need to be on all the walls so i'm going to kind of do another she peels off the top part. Just a little bit so I can handle it. And then I try to line it up on the side and the ceiling best I can. And almost stick it on the top just temporarily while you line up the sides. And go through. These guys are more important to line up because he has an obvious shape right here. 
then as I work myself way down, I peel off the back. This guy is super busy, so if he's not perfect, you don't even notice. Pro. I've just done it a lot of times and figured out what works for me and what doesn't, what processes are annoying for me and what I can handle. Because wallpaper can be a bear, but with a couple of tips, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that scary. Okay, so this guy's got a little gap. And this actually has kind of a little give to it, so you can kind of almost stretch it a teensy bit which is nice. Look at that pterodactyl, he's so cute. He is cute. All of it's so cute. Oh, she kind of matches up this corner. And then you always rub the bubbles toward this outside, like where the seams are. Because if you try to rub them up or down, you got a long way to go. How's that looking? Really I feel good. a bubble, but I don't see it. The wallpaper is done all the way around. And now we are going to do this piece right here that's going to go there. We have like a nice little setup, which I will show you next. I really have no clue if that was right. <laughs> you were really just going, like guessing at this point. It still might be too long. Oh no. Ha! There we go. You have guys, it. I did it! You did it. That's gonna be cute because then you can see some of the green. Yeah, that's so cute. You're doing great though. Point zero zero two. I think that's fine. Oh, oh. There, I nailed it. Oh wait, I gotta really nail it. Nail her! We were just gonna do the trim on the top. And then as we were going, we decided, we almost got lazy basically. We almost got lazy and we decided that we're gonna do like vertical pieces as well. So now we're measuring every 24 inches apart and making our lives a lot harder than probably we needed to, but you know, it's That's gonna be it. worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Oh, worth it. I, catch that. I said you suck. Could you please repeat it? No, you don't want me to repeat it. I just said you suck, Siri. <laughs> Heaven forbid we move the dresser just out it's a little bit. It's too heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> okay, now we're going into all the seams and caulking all of this. Switch so is seamless. Filling in the holes also with it. We're gonna do this before we paint. We also have a diffuser going because the mosquitoes are eating us alive. We've literally had a lot of problems with bugs lately. Literally. Yeah. With every single project. I'm using the excess to fill the holes that was on my finger. Santa is putting the pictures in a little mini gallery wall, which is going to go right there, so that when you walk in the room, you see that instead of the blank wall. We did wrap the trim, the green trim bottom and then behind the door on the door too.
obviously become my favorite day of the week and I'm so excited to have another room in my house done. You know you can follow us on Instagram every single week to see behind the scenes of all the projects that we're working on and get to see sneak peeks of the reveal before it happens here. So make sure you follow us and watch our Instagram stories for behind the scenes every week. Woo! It's been so much fun and we will see you next week for next week's project and another room makeover. Bye for now.